Hello again Haskellings. Our input for day 13 is in two parts, so we're going to use Interact G to split it up. The first part is a list of points, and the second part is a list of folds. It's pretty simple to write parsers for these, but for the first part we could have easily used split on or even span from data.list. We then use our special advent of code parse list function to, well, parse the lists. Next up, we're going to need a function to reflect the points over the folding line. When doing a reflection on a vertical line, we double n before subtracting the original x value. There are a few ways to think about it, but one is to realise that as the reflection line moves by 1, we need to add 2 to the reflected points. To reflect all the points, we simply map over them. We only need to do the first one, which I already sneakily saw was an x reflection. So let's take the head of f's prime and perform the reflection on all the points. We also need to remove any duplicates, and we can use num for this. We only then need to know how many there are, and then we're done. For part 2, we also need to make sure we can do y reflections, which is a copy paste job. Then we can use the aptly named foldl'prime function to apply all of f's prime in turn over all of d's prime. But for this to work nicely, we need to swap do folds arguments. Next up, we need to rasterize the points. Let's write a function called getBools, which will return us a list of lists. We can scan over the extents of the points, which we can get by using minimum and maximum over the range of x's and y's. And then we use lm to determine if each scan point is in the list. So to turn that into something reasonable, we need to map each point through the bool function to convert each to a character, then use unlines to make it one long string. And for some reason I can never remember which way around bool works. The last step is to squint sufficiently to see the hidden letters and then we're done. So, as always, happy Haskelling! <laughs>